Continuing our coverage of COVID-19 in mid-Missouri and the return of businesses opening back up, we are checking in with Boone County Commissioner Fred Perry tonight. Thank you for joining us, Commissioner. Now, Boone County just saw its largest single-day increase, 18 new cases, certainly caught our attention, 59 of them active right now. What kind of insight do you have on this jump today? Well, right now, I think all of us, uh, we learned of the cases around 4 o'clock this afternoon, and so we're all still a little alarmed by this. I, I spoke with the uh, health department right before 5 o'clock, and they told me they are just now beginning the contact tracing, uh, finding out where these folks have been. And hopefully by this time tomorrow, we're going to find out uh, where this came from, where this increase came from. Hopefully, we're going to find out that this is uh, from an isolated incident or a gathering uh, that took place uh, a couple of weeks ago. and. Uh, these folks, this is not just uh, community contact. This is something uh, that is more of, a, of an organized group. Sure, and we know on Tuesday, of course, the new order is going to go into effect. It really loosens up a lot of the restrictions that are currently in place. When you're seeing a large increase like this in just one day, I know it's just one day, though. You know, at what point will we may have to, you know, scale back a little bit? Well, I think we're a long ways from having to scale back. I think we're headed in the right direction. Still, our positive testing rate is still barely 1.5%, uh, which is uh, considered very, very strong. Dr. Randall Williams, the state's health director, tells us that if we get close to 10%, we should be alarmed. Uh, but uh, I think we have done so well in Boone County that when you see 18 cases in one day, even though it's not really a big deal, it seems like a big deal just because we've been doing so well. Should people wear masks if they go out? They should. Uh, they should continue to social distance. They should continue to disinfect their hands. Uh, it's not fun wearing a mask. I find them to be very uncomfortable, uh, but I find myself wearing masks for long periods of time in meetings, uh, and when I go to the grocery store, when I go to the pharmacy. Uh, it's important to wear your mask until we know for sure uh, that uh, there is, uh, that we're past this, this pandemic status. Sure, and on Tuesday, like I mentioned, there's a new order going into effect. What can you talk about with this new order. You know, basically the, the only thing that's new is just increased capacities for a lot of businesses that have been under previous restrictions. Uh, you can now have uh, crowd sizes up to 100, which is a nice change from just 50. Uh, churches are going to be able to uh, have unlimited capacities as long as they continue to social distance and practice uh, good hygiene habits. Uh, so you just see some relaxing of uh, the restrictions that have been in place. Uh, we're sort of turning up the dial a little bit. Uh, uh, we will probably see some increased cases as a result of relaxing some of these rules. Uh, but uh, this is something, a process that we just need to go through. So with that, you said that maybe, and it would be your hope, I don't know if that's the right word to use, that yep. maybe a gathering from two weeks ago has led sure. to this. Are you, and you mentioned, I mean, with these gatherings that we might see with the rolled back social distancing requirements, are you, do you think the health department's prepared to go through things like contact tracing and even monitoring if these establishments are keeping people distant from each other? Well, I think the health department here in Boone County has done an excellent job of contact tracing. They have nine or ten employees that are completely dedicated to that right now. Uh, so they've done a great job of being able to track. Uh, right now, I think as of today, they had about 63 people under quarantine. Uh, they have released over 600 people uh, since uh, starting this whole thing. So uh, I believe they're doing a very good job. Uh, they seem to be getting cooperation from people who have been uh, uh, diagnosed with COVID-19 and so it's been fairly easy for them to go back and and trace it. This uh, situation at Brookside this past week uh, was a different story and that's why they issued a public alert that if you had been in the pool uh, at Brookside uh, that you needed to probably uh, watch your symptoms. Okay, Commissioner Perry, thanks for joining us tonight Absolutely. with the updates.